enemy works on to duplicate and clone you, stuff happens in the sky. Two, one. Welcome to my lab. Enter at your own risk. So the people are saying, what the heck's going on, you know? So, it's live. You see the date and the time. Now watch, this is no hoax. More peoples. I want you all to subscribe to my site. I'm just doing 30 second videos of this and narrating what I see. So, keep up with it. Um, I'm hoping a planet flies by in one of these videos, so keep up with it, all right? All right, check it out. Welcome, everybody. CCTV, It Gets Stranger. This is one of my first videos in 2017 that launched my site. The night that I caught this, this is the Vatican. You know, many people said, well, it was wet on the ground, so it was just dew on the lens. And I don't know, you know, I didn't know anything. I didn't even know how to filter. So I'm gonna come back and revisit this. I'm gonna try to debunk myself. Okay, and uh, this is it. Now this, I got this on, um, for, uh, what's it called? The program, it, it's a freebie one. So I, I did this thing. I'm gonna do some filtering on it. I'm gonna do some quick filtering. Just to pop around different views of it. Then I'm going to do a little forensic on it. And I'm going to show you the video that night. See, it, it, you know. I didn't know about machines. I didn't know about the moons. Now, as I look at this now, you see that little hub in the middle there. Let's see if we could do something with this. I'm just going to try to prove if it's fake or real. I really don't know. Oh, yeah. Shadow one. Shadow dancing. Now, the people here, and I couldn't do this before, but they all seem to be looking that direction. Let's sharpen them up. So this is how I wake up, I guess, today. Doing this video, but it's pretty incredible. The people all seem to be standing back to me. Looking up. Looking up where? Right there. They're all saying, what the heck? Now, you know, I've heard the stories now, since I've been doing this for five years, I've heard all the stories about, uh, you know, the Vatican's breaking through the other side with it, Satan telescope, and, you know, I considered all that. Right now, I'm just uh, taking some of it, dehazing some of it. And so we've got this object up here. I mean, to me, it's surreal looking. Let's see what else we could do with it. Every time I change the colors, it gives me a different variation I can pick from. Um, I'm just looking for the best one. Look at this one. You can still see it's a dark variation. You can still see it. Let's do this red haze. I like to play around with the red. I mean, it's kind of fun. Um, Dehazing takes away a lot of the fog. There's still something there, right? Okay. So not to belabor this process. Um, to me, it looks like a saucer. There's something there. You UFO hunters, you might know what it is. Um, so that night, I put this out. I was doing 30, 30 second videos, which everybody said you can't do that. And they were getting mad at me because I was running some serious traffic. Some of the videos were getting 17 to 3,000 hits. So WSO, bless his heart, shows this. And uh, he says, this guy said, wow, cool, I found something, right? Like, like he goes, if that's a planet, we'd all be destroyed. Now, we've seen bigger and badder looking and scarier looking, but you know, I think it's one of the machines, personally. Let's go do a little Forensic on it, okay? Okay, hang on. So I'm over here at my forensic uh, tool, and I'm just going to show you what this does if you're not familiar with it. You have a couple settings auto contrast, that's what I usually use. 
so you can see there's something there the light from the building over here this is a light from a building which you know in real time I've watched this thing um, so it's a it's a greenish looking object and I could go by channel which adds color to it in depth um, like you might be able to figure out what that is right there with the, with the arrow is but not with that so and I know the histogram or histogram equalization it's for different scientific approaches to like thumbprints and stuff you know as far as I know it's a forensic tool for forensic policing uh, that's all I could tell you about it um, so I usually just use or none if you use none you really get some of the best shots so let's put a little bit of a um, level sweep level sweep will take the light out now when I did that I never I never said anything about this blue over here I thought the blue was coming from that light it's not you can see this object it looks kind of like an asteroid but I you know I don't know with the thoughts about the Vatican related to the aliens this takes all the light out and it brings it back see so I understand that this telescope has like an inverted lens so they can see into the spiritual realm. Like you know the big C-E-R-N is trying to find the presence of God. And um, you know all these people have brought information which I, I think a lot of it's real. And so I've seen the UFO right there over the Vatican. light that was over here is just magnified right now so then you can see this let's see so the level sweep's got its you know it's got its pluses and its pros and cons I like that right there so whatever this object is which I think is one of the machines I think it's you know, one of the technologies, them, thus, them, I don't know. Whoever owns this technology is pretty freaky. But this blue planet down here it looks like a blue beam of light, and it could be just that. Anyways, so I'm kind of debunking myself. You know, debunking my own video. But actually, I'm getting a better video out of it because I, I couldn't do none of this. This is a 2017 capture that got me 8,000 subscribers in 12 hours. Clone detection, some of you know, what it does, it looks for other objects that are exactly the same. Okay, so, if there is none, we won't find any. And I'll try different levels that I know might, might fetch one. There you go. Uh, if it's a clone on the ground, like lights are exactly the same, it will show. There's clones of UFOs. See, all these objects are exactly the same. It's showing you the exact same clones on this side. But now, something right there, all by itself with no line, right there. See, these are just, it's mimicking whatever it looks exactly the same. But uh, minim minimal image. Okay, so it's still picking up that. Now, what is it picking up? I don't know. Take a look. Mainly it's picking up, I think, the lights. But you see this object right here? It's picking up something there. Remember a second ago we had um, another object. So you don't pick it up on there. Minimal details. Might pick up. Oh, there you go. So right here, these almost look the same too. Um, is that crazy? So there is definitely something there that's the same as over here you know I don't know maybe it's just the light that's hitting on it that's what I could do with this forensic tool um, this is a pretty intense tool right here it's an equalized histogram and so as I bring the opacity up you're gonna see exactly what's in the air now I'll zoom in on this when I do the video this is just a pre-video 
See the atmosphere is all stirred up right there. Look at that thing, it almost looks like it has a star on it. I can't zoom in it right there, but I will. Intensity will make it, it brings it like a topical map. That's the best to explain it. Um, you normalize it, just brings it into a green. As you can see, I like playing with this one, but this is really what proves it's an object that you're looking at. Look at the edges. Ancient. Looks like a, looks like a, not a star of David, but a, something in the middle. Let's see if we can get that all the way. Something in the middle of it. But it almost looks like a, You know the star we don't want in our lives. Interesting, right? So we got an object that wasn't fake, it wasn't light. Over here is stuff going on. Um, can't tell you, don't know. And then that blue thing, right down here. Could just be city lights, the blue one. Anywho. And this is your, see how it brings out every object. Now this light, it doesn't bring it out because it's all scattered light over here, over here, the blue, it's all light. But this thing is an object. Intensity, if I bring it down, it doesn't change much. The opacity, if I bring it down, it changes a lot. And again, this is what I'm showing you. This is an object with something right there. See where my arrow is. Wow, love this tool. Um, I won't tell you where I got it from because I gave a note to the guy who gave it to me. And uh, I think one time I revealed it and one time only, and I don't know if that video is around anymore. Um, but anyways, let's go back to what we were saying about the um, filtered version. Now we're back at the filtered version. Let me see if I could bring this thing out. It's no use putting this thing in 4K because it's just the camera's not that great. If I bring the noise down, it takes away all the choppiness. Makes it more smoother. Now I have a tool, and I don't mind showing it. I don't use it to cheat at all. I mean, I could cheat so easy with this machine right here, guys. I'm not, I don't want to show fake stuff. But I'm going to take a Reddit, a, um, what they call it, a radial granite, okay? What this little does, I'm going to put it right in the center, best I can see. And I'm going to enlarge it the size of this. See the center circle? Try to get it as equal as I can. With the middle, I can grab it. This is my filter. And I use Impixio filters. I don't, I don't hide that fact no more. Uh, I take time to do my videos to show you something that nobody can, just, nobody can believe. It. I don't use the hue or the template. If I do the invert, it changes the whole picture to the invert mask you see the difference see sometimes it'll reveal stuff like that what that is I think that's some city blue lights or something going on over there it's very strange I didn't want that so I just want to filter this one thing see how it has that whitish okay now you can kind of track it better i try to get perfectly over the solid part i can see with my eyes now yeah i could you know am i cheating no those guys have known me for five years put a comment in there and tell them if i'm cheating you know because i don't want to show anybody this and then they go to bed looking at this you know come on guys i'm gonna take the invert off of it okay pretty pretty aligned I'm not taking my time with this. Some of you guys are new, and this is some strange stuff I'm doing. But I'm going to use contrast. Contrast makes your picture darker. Okay, so it's definitely eclipsed, and the light, okay, the light from the Vatican area is shining on something that's close enough for it to shine on. Think about that. I'm going to sharpen it up a little bit. This little tool here, dehaze, is like a lifesaver. Um... Exposure up gives you light. So you want to see that now without the ring? 
right there. And see how it's got the dark around it? It's one of the ways when you're looking at pictures real close like this, and you see it has an outline, they, uh, they didn't measure it properly. So now I'm going to kick it back in, and I'm going to bring it in a little bit, okay? And I've only done this to a few planets that are so obvious that you would tell me to do it. So I let you know what I do. I'm not hiding nothing here. Nobody's cheating nothing. So please don't think that about me. I'm an honest guy. I'm 61 years old with double broken back, disabled, 100%. Uh, I live on a very strict income. So if you want to bless me, I receive it in Jesus' name. <laughs> Keep going on with this video. See, so I could play with this for hours, guys. Now all I got to do is turn that back on, relocate it. And I have a little tool here for feathering. Which is a genius tool they made. See, I'm off a little bit. See that? Why I'm being so detailed is like, I like doing this show. Not a lot of people even understand this kind of show. But, um, remember, contrast darkens it. Uh, we can turn a lot of the blue to see it separates with the black. Oh, well, see, that side is totally eclipsed because it's in the atmosphere pretty locally with that light to be shining on that. And I'll show you a picture of the Vatican and point out the light, if I can find it, a good picture of it, the buildings. There you go family friends and people out there in youtube land no apologies for being real um that is a craft i believe so subscribe to my channel watch the uh playlist save it for the video thanks for coming remember this was a portal video you went to another dimension